Hello and welcome at the IAA in Munich. I am Raquel Crawford. We are honored to meet the Senior Vice President of EVE Energy, Alexander Holden, who will share the latest developments of EVE, the world's leading lithium battery designer and manufacturer in the fields of green environmental protection and carbon neutrality. After 22 years of rapid development, EVE is now a global lithium battery company which possesses core technologies and solutions for consumer batteries, power batteries and energy storage batteries. Before we will meet the Senior Vice President from EVE, we talk to Professor Cyrus Hsu, who would tell us the highlights of this year's EVE Energy Exhibition of IAA Mobility. Well, for this time, we bring our latest technology for the cylindrical battery. Uh, that is, we say, the Pi system. The Pi system means there are three sides for the cooling for the whole battery. That means the battery could be charged as fast as possible. This is uh, around uh, 10 minutes. By doing this, uh, we can have the advantage for the uh, OEMs, but also for the um, customers to have a fast charge capability. The EVE Energy has made significant progress in the European market. Alexander Holden will tell us the plans and objectives in this area. The European market is very important to EVE for different reasons. It's a critical part of our growth outside of China. So we look at the European market not just to expand our footprint and expand our EU customer base, we look at it also to give us guidance on what's required in terms of clean, green, renewable energy. Also production methods. So Europe absolutely plays a critical part in EVE's growth plans for the future. By the end of the last year, EVE Energy received the Carbon Neutrality Verification Declaration Certificate from BSI. Could you please explain how you have achieved carbon emission reduction and management throughout the entire life cycle of your battery products? Carbon neutral has always been a goal of EVE, long before it became a popular topic which it is today. We've worked very hard to reduce our footprint in the terms of carbon output. We do this by digitizing our production lines. We use artificial intelligence software everything we can do to cut down on the production methods to make them more lean, more clean. We also produce different types of batteries. We look into the future. So hydrogen cells, lightweight cells, all of these things add to the reduction of carbon neutral. So this is our goal. And it will continue to be our goal together with our partners. We work together side by side with our partners like BMW, Mercedes, they all strive for the same carbon neutral objects. So together we will reach these targets. In terms of a green supply chain, you've also implemented many innovative measures such as material reuse and the use of eco-friendly packaging materials. Um, could you share some specific examples and outcomes? Yes, again, these are areas which EVE we started to develop our recycling possibilities back in 2010. So again, a long time before people thought it was required. But now being able to recycle materials or recycle the batteries we produce, this is a source of raw materials that reduces our need for first source. So any materials we can recover from recycling means it's fewer materials we have to source from the original mining or other areas. So again, it cuts down on the need, it cuts down for the environment. It also, we have a closed loop circle for our recycling of waste material and recycling of our batteries. So these are things we're very, very focused on and we intend to increase this all the time. This never stops. Recycling, greener energy, leaner production ways, it continues all the time. You never reach the end of it, it continues. Now we will hear the EVE strategy 
for low carbon. And let me take the 46 cylindrical battery as an example. The first critical point is that we are going to optimize the manufacturing process and to reduce the process numbers. And by doing this, we can shut the production. We can shut the production rate by around 30 percent. And the second point is going to minimize the carbon footprint by calculating, by calculating the latest uh, <coughs> manufacturing process. We see we can reduce the uh, carbon footprint uh, to below 30 gram per watt hour. Now we hear how EVE Energy continue to drive developments in the fields of green environmental protection and carbon neutrality. It's a continuation. The future comes every day. Tomorrow is a new day, new future. And tomorrow we will look at new ways of how we can reduce our need on environmental materials. So can we increase and improve our production methods? Can we use fewer lighting, fewer gas? Can we recycle and use waste water for cooling products? We continuously look. We also work with all the leading universities. We work with other outside influences and we take some ideas of their technology. How can we use their technology into our production methods? So it's a continuation, just as you said. And EVE, we will continue to make these improvements for as long as we can. We will never stop looking for ways to improve the things we make, not just from a profitability point of view, but from an environmental point of view. This is our responsibility to society. Recently, we've learned that EVE Energy's subsidiary EVE Power has constructed a new environmentally friendly battery factory in Europe. Could you share some background on this project and its impact on the European electric vehicle industry? Yes, we've uh, recently established a facility, or we're making a building a facility in Hungary. This facility is being built to supply our customer, our partner, BMW. The facility is being placed right next to BMW's manufacturing site. This again will cut down on the need to move product, logistics. This reduces the carbon footprint. We will be able to move product from our manufacturing site to BMW without the need of trucks or vehicles will be able to move it automatically into their facility. Again, we will utilize the latest in digital technology, AI technology, and reduce the overall need of, of sourcing energy from natural resources. We will implement our energy storage facilities to supplement the need of electricity from the grid system. We will use recycled water, wastewater, for our cooling applications, again leaving more fresh water for the farmers and the agricultural requirements in that neighborhood. So again, everything we can do to integrate ourselves with the local community is our focus. Apart from the factory in Hungary, does EVE Energy have any other European development plans? We do. We see, um, as I said earlier, um, Europe is a key uh, region for us to develop and to expand. So yes, Hungary is our first footprint in the European region. But we are looking at other areas. We're looking at Poland. We're also looking at Spain. We've even been asked to consider in the UK as well. So for us, EVE is very much driven by the needs from our customer. So we try to place ourselves logistically and statistically in a place that is advantageous for all parties. It's not just where we want to build factories. We have to look at what will be the environmental impact for us to put a facility in certain areas. These are all key issues that we look at when considering a new location. And regarding collaborations with German companies, could you provide a detailed overview of EVE Energy's plans to collaborate with German enterprises? Indeed, we look at our collaboration with German companies as a wonderful partnership. 
The automotive industry has been making automobiles for more than 100 years. And we all know German has a reputation for being a very high quality engineering country. So for EVE, we consider ourselves a quite new company. We're only 23 years old. So we look to learn from these German partners. We're not an arrogant company. We're a true partnership. We look to learn from them and we also look at what strengths we bring to the table in terms of our technology. But certainly from a manufacturing point of view, for us to work with leading German organizations such as BMW, Mercedes, Audi, Volkswagen, and other German enterprises, this is our honor to work with them side by side not only for the production of batteries but as we talked upon a little earlier about green renewable energy so together how can we cooperate with them to make the environment better for everybody how do you envision eve energy integrating into germany's energy transition and becoming a global leader in the field of green energy well again i think it all goes back to what we've said earlier it's a continuous effort it never stops. When you stop, you've lost the battle. We have to continue together, just as I said earlier, working side by side with our German customers, our German partners, but not just in Germany, but also all of our other European partners. We want to work to a cleaner, greener environment for everybody. This isn't something we've just talked about. This is something we have to act on now. EVE stands behind all of these other companies to work collectively together. And this is the key word, collectively, to do it together. EVE cannot achieve these things by ourselves. And if we do it by ourselves, the impact is not great. We have to do it with our partners. And this is for the good of everybody. It truly is. And I think now today, in the environment we're seeing, we all understand the importance of global warming, carbon footprint. So let us collectively work together to make improvements for everybody, for generations to come. Thank you very much for the interview. <laughs> for more information, please visit the website evebattery.com.